Hey everybody, I wanted to take a minute and talk to you guys about how to keep your lithium batteries at the optimum charge level. So we have a lot of clients who are type A personality and they wanna optimize their system. And I find that these people are generally keeping their batteries charged up to 100%, assuming that is the best state of charge. But it's not really true for lithium ion batteries. You should be keeping them ideally between 50 and 80% state of charge. And that's gonna give you the most life cycles and the longest overall battery life. So one of the great things about having a Victron system is that through the Victron Connect app, you're able to manage the incoming charge from the solar panels and the alternator, and you can disable them right from the app. So when I'm traveling down the road, for instance, this last week, I went on a four day trip over Thanksgiving and I left with about an 88% state of charge. And I returned after four days with the same state of charge, around 88%. Um, I wasn't getting a lot of solar gain. It was almost all coming in, in through the alternator. Um, so what I do when I'm traveling is I have the app pulled up at least once a day, I'm checking it. And you can go into the app and through reading the, the data on the smart shunt, see how much power is coming in. So for instance, right now I'm idling the van, getting about 23 and a half amps of power, and my battery state of charge is 79%. So as soon as this gets to 80%, if I don't need the extra energy in the batteries, then I will go to the smart BMS, and it's super simple. It has a toggle switch where you can just turn off the charging and then if we go back to the smart shunt, we can now see that the charging has been disabled and it's drawing about one amp. So my state of charge is not gonna go above 80%. Um, as a matter of fact, I will let this now run down to about 50 to 60% before I enable the chargers again. And this is sort of like blowing up a balloon. You can put air in and let it out and put it in and let it out. But if you expand the balloon all the way to its maximum capacity, similar to charging the battery all the way up, it actually degrades the battery just a little bit the same way it would the rubber of a balloon. Um, so if you can keep the batteries, again, between 50 and 80%, you'll get the longest life. And doing it through the app makes it so simple that there's no reason for you guys who want to optimize the system that you shouldn't be able to do that really easily. All right, everybody, um, if this was useful information to you, please leave a like and give us a comment and let us know how you've been managing your battery capacity. See you next time.